more and more you can see the distinction between commercial media and public media. Public media really belongs to people. It's funded by people. That's why we say viewers like you. And it means that we can do, we can really fit in where there's market failure. And you can probably see that so clearly where television is going now, where reality is sort of consuming so much of television. So we do things that are important because they're important. And we look back at the history of civilizations and say, what defines civilizations? It's defined by the intelligentsia, by the great work. And that's what we aim to do. So in a world where there's no real place for arts and culture except on public television, why is that? Because things like even A&E and Bravo, which were once uh, founded with the idea that they would fill this niche, in fact, commercial television does what it does. It sells eyeballs. It tries to get the most amount of people. It's not consumed because there's no way to measure the intensity of experience. There's no way to measure how TV touches your intellect or touches your spirit. But that's what public media does. So we reach a lot of people, but we reach them in more profound ways. And because of that, we can do things that are important because they're important, not necessarily because they reach a lot of people.